Good Saturday morning, everybody, live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. We've got, again, a changeable situation as we go into the rest of the day today. Started off with some stronger, even some severe weather storms across the Mid-South, and we'll continue again to see the possibility of more potential of some rain throughout the rest of the day and also the possibility of looking at some big changes coming up later on tonight. We'll be talking about rain mixed with changing over to snow, maybe some freezing rain, maybe some sleet in there as well. Very good news at this point in time is that right now, number one, the main energy, the storm system is going north of us. So that takes a lot of the burden off our shoulders. This storm is going to be very similar to what we saw about a week or so ago. So almost the same situation. And again, that glancing blow of precipitation could be looking at areas of the Mid-South, maybe some slick spots into tomorrow, but we'll talk more about that coming up here in just a little bit. If you got questions about the forecast, again, drop them into the comments section below. We'll answer as many of them as we can as they scroll by. Again, got a lot to talk about, and hopefully, again, you've got kind of a rudimentary idea as to where you're located north of I-40, close to Memphis, south into Mississippi, wherever you are. We'd love to do the forecast specifically for everybody that asks, but unfortunately, that's a lot of places in the Mid-South area, and to make certain that this is as concise as possible, we have to give you kind of a generic outlook more than anything else. So if you have questions, I'll answer what I can. But again, we're looking at a generic possibility of more areas of winter tonight and more severe weather into and around the area this morning. So again, stay tuned for more as we go through this. And we'll kind of bump around a little bit to show you a little bit more about what's going on as the questions come in for right now. So right now in the Mid-South area, showers, occasional rumbles of thunder being reported last hour at Memphis International Airport. Rain for the most part, delays, nothing to be seen at this point in time. And so far across the continental United States, we're not seeing too much of anything out there in the way of delays or slowdowns. So that's good news. Again, gray skies, a lot of rainfall out there looking back toward Memphis International Airport. Again, so far things are a little calmer than what they were throughout the rest of the morning. A few more storms into and around the area from early on and continuing throughout the rest of the day. Welcome to everybody coming up and into the uh, comments section. Thanks for dropping on by. I do appreciate uh, everybody taking a look around and joining us for this morning on here. Right now, again, in the Mid-South area, we've got at just past 8.30. Again, you can see the time up there and the date at the top of your screen. And the forecast, again, the blue bar scrolling by at the bottom of your screen if you can't stick around for the whole netcast that we're doing. Rain showers about 8.30, crossing Shelby County. We had a little bit of a gap right there making its way across into Fayette County and some more showers. But so far, again, the good news is that right about early this morning, right before News Channel 3 Daybreak came on the air, we had a lessening of the threat of severe weather. Things looked pretty potent for a while, but then that kind of waned very quickly out there. So we do have some heavier showers north of I-22, northern Mississippi, and mainly east of the Mississippi River. Back to the west of us, we've got, again, light showers taking place at this time, and plenty more moisture out there, and back into around northwestern Arkansas, southwest Missouri, we've already got that changeover line between rain, liquid precipitation, and more solid frozen precipitation here. So we are going to see that advancing on the Mid-South, moving into the area. We'll talk more about where and when coming up here in just a little bit. Now, back to the north of us. Once again, this storm system passing on through. The main energy is going to be just moving its way back to the north of us, but enough energy down to the south to give a lot more potential for severe weather into and around portions of northern Mississippi. Some showers and some thunderstorms, some severe weather across portions of the area this morning, but fortunately not that much. Back to the north of us, like last week, we are seeing again from the Plain States to New England, numerous winter weather advisories taking place, and that does include portions of the Mid-South. So anything along and north of I-70, especially as you go northeast, that's where you're going to see the worst of the worst possibility. Now, a winter weather advisory, what does that mean? National Weather Service issues these as kind of a blanket statement, if you will, that covers a lot of different types of precipitation. You can have a snow advisory, a sleet advisory, a freezing rain advisory. At this point in time, we can see just about anything as that changeover takes place. But good news again, storm system, the energy going north of us, and dry air undercutting that from the west should diminish our chances of snowfall. Yes, I know a lot of you are going to get 
very disappointed in that, but as of right now, we're not going to be seeing that much. We're going to be sort of on the south side of this system here. Dyer County, including the city of Dyersburg and cities around there, Mississippi County and Arkansas, that's the only two counties in the News Channel 3 viewing area in the Mid-South that are under this winter weather advisory. So as of right now, this is going to be the best possibility for getting anything accumulating on the ground. Anything closer to the metro, I-40, south of that area, probably not going to be winding up with much, but again, we'll be monitoring that to see what goes on. We'll talk about amounts coming up here in just a little bit. We are at our high temperatures for the day. We are going to be dropping as we go toward noontime into and around the area for right now. Grady Bennett, yes, we will elaborate on that uh, coming up in just a little bit. Welcome to everybody else uh, who's tuning in for right now. Looks like a lot of people getting some decent amounts of rainfall out there. Stephen... Davis from Bloomington, Illinois. Haven't been there in a while. Blizzard conditions being uh, reported there at this point in time. Uh, everybody on traveling duty, definitely want to take it easy and keep an eye on what's going on with the weather and add a little bit of extra travel time to get to where you're going just to be on the safe side out there for right now. Here's what it looks like again for rainfall potential. WeatherNet 3, you can get this again on your computer system. All you have to do very easy is go to this website address, wrhe.com slash weather, and get all the details about the weather bug system to where you can find out what's going on near your location in the Mid-South. Over an inch of rain in the boot heel and fractions of an inch, but still very soaked across the area throughout the rest of the Mid-South, but temperatures are still well above freezing at this point in time. Now, again, starting off very mild, near 60, close to midnight, through about midday temperatures are going to start to slide across the area. Northeast Arkansas first, crossing the rest of the area throughout the rest of the day. We'll take a look at that specifics in just a bit. And then very cold, very windy. Could be seeing wind gusts out there of about 20 to 35 miles per hour out of the northwest. And again, a wind advisory has been posted for the Mid-South. So if you drive a high-profile vehicle, RV, uh, semi-truck, big SUV, you're going to notice again some uh, wobble in there as you drive down the roadway. So definitely want to keep a firm hand on the steering wheel and watch what goes on ahead of you because again if something starts to wobble and sway and fall over on the interstate to block traffic you need to be aware of that especially with wet roadways so keep that in mind as we go throughout the rest of the day. Alright timing this out hour by hour as we go throughout the rest of mid-morning Rain in the Mid-South, threat of stronger weather passing away down to the south and east of us. Heading into this afternoon, that's when the shift in the winds start to take place and we start to see the temperatures start to drop by just a little bit. Now again, notice right ahead of that front, temperatures pushing 60 in northeast Arkansas. Behind that front, temperatures dropping rapidly into the lower 40s. You're going to notice a Big shift in temperatures coming on through here as we get into the course of the rest of the afternoon and evening. But it's going to start here first, move across the metro area as temperatures start to fall just past lunchtime. And if you're in southwest Tennessee, northeast Mississippi, it's going to take a while, but the colder air is going to overspread your area getting into later on tonight. Chances of rain remain in the forecast as we go toward dinner time, News Channel 3 at 5 and 6 tonight. Rainfall chances ahead of this, and then right as that colder air really starts to drop a few thousand feet up as the temperatures go below freezing, that's where we see that changeover between rain and snow, some sort of mixture right in here, fairly narrow band, and that's going to be crossing into the metro area right about News Channel 3 at 5, News Channel 3 at 6. Behind that, that's where we start to see the snow potential coming on through, and then rain chances ahead of that, cold rain, but still too warm for anything but liquid rain out here. And dropping on down again, those colder winds all the way on through. Now through about mid-evening, mainly going over to snowfall. There could be some sleet pellets in there. There could also be a little bit of freezing rain as temperatures drop to around freezing. But again, good news at this time, drier air coming through and the main energy of the storm system leaving us back to the north. So we should see less in the chances of precipitation coming up. We're still going to wind up with some accumulations in parts of the area, mainly north of I-40 as we go into tonight, but there is still that possibility out there. And by about midnight tonight, outside of a few flurries sticking around, we should see an end to the precipitation. So this is not going to be sticking around for long. It is not going to be a blizzard scenario. It is something 
that you have to pay attention to. And again, keep tuned to the weather experts for more information on that. Dwindling snow showers as we go into very early tomorrow morning. And that's where we see, again, drier conditions, but very cold, decently breezy for Sunday. And dare I say it, hopefully maybe even some sunrise out there for early Sunday morning. So if that works, should be looking at some clearing conditions out there and hopefully not too much to worry about in the way of travel problems. But we'll have more on that coming up here as we go into later on. Uh, Steve Kelly, thunder snow, cross your fingers, but I don't think we're going to see that. That would be cool, don't get me wrong, but uh, I don't really see we're going to be getting too much of that this time around, but uh, we still have a lot of winter to go, so something to think about there. Okay, so for accumulation purposes, taking a look right now, at the best possibility of what we may be winding up with at this time. Again, anything along and south of I-40, a dusting to a trace amount, maybe in some cases north of I-40 right there, about a half an inch or so. And then back to the north of that in the lighter blue shaded area, that's where we may pick up about an inch plus of snowfall actually accumulating on the ground. Now, again, this is sort of a nice middle ground of the computer models that do this. Some computer models are calling for two to three inches in this area. The farther north you go, the more you get. Some of them are saying a little bit less in the way of precipitation, so I'm kind of walking that middle ground right there to say about an inch plus in this area and up to around an inch in, say, like grassy areas off to the side of roadways, things like that. The ground temperatures in the Mid-South, the surface temperatures are still very warm. So I doubt right now that we're going to see a lot of major league slick conditions tomorrow. It could be possible, again, in the areas coldest for the longest, and northwest Tennessee, Boot Hill, southeast Missouri, northeast Arkansas could see that tomorrow morning. Some slick spots out there. Rest of the area should stay liquid rainfall. Temperatures drop fast enough, we could see some exposed roadways like bridges and overpasses surrounded by air instead of insulated by the ground. We may see, again, the potential of some slick spots out across portions of the area. So, again, that could be a problem into tomorrow. Now, again, this will change in the next 24 hours. So keep it tuned to the weather experts, and we'll keep you updated into and around the area for right now. Rest of the forecast, again, fairly quiet into the area. Kenneth Sims, I remember that last year. Uh, that snowfall coming on through, that was that was a uh, distinct amount of snowfall out there for a good portion of the Mid-South area. Uh, seeing more than a few uh, snow building techniques out there. Never known those to work specifically, but okay, if you want to, guys want to give that a try, that's fine. Uh, thank you very much uh, for everybody for chiming in for this morning out there across the Mid-South. Now, severe weather threat has really curtailed, but again, south of the area, that's where we're going to see the best possibility of severe weather. This forecast is several hours old, so right now we're expecting a new one coming up here in roughly about the next 90 minutes from the Storm Prediction Center. Green indicates the lowest potential marginal threat for southwest Tennessee and northeast Mississippi. Generic thunderstorms in the light green shaded area. Now, we will be watching again throughout the next couple of hours. I really think that with the next update, most of everything here is going to go away leaving us with an isolated thunderstorm possible and really not much more than that. So hopefully it stays that way, but keep it tuned for updates on that. Okay, rest of the day, <clears throat> excuse me, and next several days coming up, already hit our high temperature. So we're done with warming up for now, and we're going to see, again, some very cold conditions dropping through the Mid-South through midday and right on into tonight. Winds turning around to the northwest, very gusty, much colder as we go into later on this afternoon and this evening, and that's where we see that mixture of precipitation starting off. Drier air chases that storm system as it heads up to the northeast. Mostly sunny tomorrow, but chilly. Temperatures only back in the mid-40s. For the volunteer groups getting out and about for the Martin Luther King Jr. holiday coming up on Monday, much nicer than last week's forecast. Plenty of sunshine, temperatures near normal, so making it a day on for service instead of just another day off. Things are looking a lot better out there for the groups and the volunteers, so good news on that. Temperatures a little chillier by midweek and some rain chances out there that could change over to some rain snow late Tuesday into around early Wednesday and again Wednesday night as well. And again on Friday, we might see a possibility of some limited chances of rain and snow 
big push of colder air, even bigger than what we've got coming our way right now, is heading our way for next weekend. And we could see, again, the temperatures really plummet by next Saturday to highs around freezing and low temperatures dropping back into the teens. This could be the biggest cold air burst and the lowest temperatures in the Mid-South that we have seen so far this season. Now, again, this is still several days out, but we'll be watching that, so keep it tuned to the weather experts as we keep you updated on what's going on. Welcome to everybody for tuning in for this morning. Again, you can get a ton more weather information and your complete forecast, including the seven-day forecast at this website address, wreg.com slash weather. Glad to have everybody along for right now. Don't forget to sign up for weather calls. Some severe weather in the Mid-South this morning. Limited, no damage reported. Very good news on that. And as of right now, if you'd like to be ahead of the game, sign up for weather call. Tim Simpson and Jim Jaggers will call you with severe weather updates. And all you have to do is go to wreg.com slash weather for more details on that. Right now in the Mid-South area, again, we've still got plenty of rain showers out across much of the area and should be seeing those rain showers stick around in some form or fashion as we go into the rest of the morning. Storm Tracker 3S radar showing kind of a bit of a gap right here, but some more showers back to the north and west of us. And some of that, again, has already started to change over from central Missouri to eastern Oklahoma, northwest Arkansas. We've already got that cool down taking place, seeing again some very low temperatures, dropping the chances of precipitation going again from just plain rainfall over to frozen precip. So this is something that is going to be a possibility for us coming up later on today. So it could be, again, some problems with travel into and around this area. Now, again, this forecast will change throughout the rest of the day. Off and on, we'll be giving you updates to give you an idea as to what's going on. If you're traveling, especially into tomorrow morning, definitely want to get an update on what's going on with the forecast and stick around for more details so we can keep you updated because, again, it's very cold, very windy out there, so be prepared ahead of time for a major shift in temperatures coming up in the next several hours. You're going to be seeing some raw wind chills tonight with those winds out of the northwest and temperatures back in the 30s. We could be talking about wind chills in the teens tonight, maybe even briefly in the single digits as that cold air spills on through the area. And again, tonight, best possibility of winter weather starting to accumulate in portions of the area Looks like it is going to be north of the Mid-South, but some of that, again, could drop into the area north of I-40. Inch plus from what we're seeing right now could be more, a little less in some of the heaviest areas right now. More of a trace along I-40 mixed in with the rainfall up to and around a half an inch to an inch. And again, that will also change as we go throughout the course of the next couple of hours as we look for more forecast updates on that. If you get weather pictures, we would love to see them, and if we could pass them along, that would be wonderful. Uh, later on tonight, if you do get any accumulations of anything else going on out there, please send them along to me. Send them again to, uh, if you can't do with social media, email them to me at austin.onic at wreg.com. You can send them to our main website through the email system that we have on there. You can find me on social media to post on there for the Mid-South. We would love to see more about your weather pictures so we can feature them online and on air coming up in just a little bit. So again, the main thing we're looking at is going to be the main rainfall across much of the area, changing over to snow later on this afternoon and into this evening. Uh, welcome to everybody else for checking in. Thank you very much for all the weather reports and for the votes yes or no for snowfall out across the Mid-South. And again, just keep it tuned to News Channel 3. We'll have more details in your forecast throughout the rest of the day on social media. And of course, we'll have more coming up tonight on News Channel 3 at 5, 6, and 10. Thanks to everybody for joining me for the early morning edition of News Channel 3's exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime. And stay tuned for a lot more with News Channel 3 as we go throughout the rest of the day and especially into later on tonight. A lot to keep track of. A lot to keep you informed of, and the weather experts will do just that, so stick around for a lot more. Live and direct from downtown, I'm meteorologist Austin Onyx. Stay tuned for more with News Channel 3 throughout the rest of Saturday as our next winter storm approaches.